For more stock updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Palantir Technologies is currently experiencing remarkable success. If you were to ask Alex Karp, the chief executive officer, he would enthusiastically confirm this. Back in May, Carp confidently told analysts, I think it is fair to say we excelled in quarter one in the United States. Carp explained that Palantir developed a software infrastructure that enables enterprises, both commercial and governmental, to advance beyond basic communication and trivial pursuits to create genuinely valuable outcomes. Reflecting on the company's past challenges, Corp stated, I must remind everyone that there was a time when no one believed we would be profitable, when doubts about our ability to penetrate the commercial market were rampant, and when revenue per employee was heavily scrutinized. These words underscore the significant journey Palantir has undertaken, transforming skepticism into confidence and achieving notable financial milestones. Despite Palantir's strong performance in the United States, Carp acknowledged the company's challenges in Europe, which accounts for 16% of its business. However, it is also true that U.S. comparisons surpassed U.S.-European commercial performance, which we view positively. This dual outlook showcases Palantir's adaptability and resilience in the face of diverse market conditions. The company's revenue is largely driven by its collaborations with the U.S. government, particularly in counterterrorism initiatives. However, Palantir has also broadened its horizons, delving deeper into the realm of managing, interpreting, and reporting data for large corporations. Addressing concerns about the company's strong stance on defending Western values, Corp said our belief is that the Western way of life is superior, and our organizational principles around this belief are why our products are revolutionary. This assertion highlights Palantir's commitment to its foundational ideals and the transformative impact of its technologies. Carp elaborated, The reason we attract the best talent globally, and why a tenure at Palantir is more prestigious than an Ivy League degree, is because the Ivy League institutions have adopted a superficial and new ideological cause, which in reality undermines the greatest institutions of our time, turning them into dysfunctional entities. Palantir serves as a counterexample, and I am incredibly proud of our achievements. This pride is reflected in the company's impressive financial performance and its strategic vision for the future. Palantir reported adjusted earnings of $0.08 cents per share for the first quarter, with revenue of $634 million. These figures aligned with Wall Street's expectations of $0.08 cents per share on revenue of $625 million, reinforcing the company's robust financial health. Investors are optimistic that the company's strong position in artificial intelligence technologies will drive rapid earnings growth. A significant component of this positive outlook is the AIP Logic platform, which allows companies to develop specific functions using its large language models without needing complex programming skills. This platform represents a cornerstone of Palantir's strategic initiatives, enabling clients to harness advanced AI capabilities seamlessly. The ongoing interest in AIP is unmistakable in my discussions with our customers, said Ryan Taylor, Chief Revenue Officer and Chief Legal Officer. We have outlined our plans to dominate the market with AIP. Our results demonstrate that our strategy is not only succeeding, but also gaining momentum. Taylor's comments highlight the widespread enthusiasm for AIP and its pivotal role in Palantir's growth trajectory. In May, the stock experienced its largest one-day decline in two years, dropping by 15% after the company forecasted full-year revenue between $2.68 billion and $2.69 billion, which fell short of Wall Street estimates. This decline reflects the volatility inherent in market expectations and, and the challenges of meeting high investor standards. Palantir is set to announce second quarter earnings on August 5th, and analysts have adjusted their price targets for the company's stock. Citi increased its price target for Palantir to $28 from $25 and maintained a neutral rating on the shares in a second quarter earnings preview for the analytics software sector. This adjustment signifies cautious optimism amid the evolving financial landscape. While Citi has a more positive outlook on the data and analytics sector in the medium term, driven by the benefits of generative artificial intelligence, it cautions that the second quarter will still be somewhat volatile. This forecast suggests that while the long-term prospects are promising, short-term fluctuations are to be expected. Citi anticipates Palantir will surpass expectations by one point on top-line metrics for quarter two, with potential upside on profitability metrics. The firm remains optimistic following a recent visit to Palantir's headquarters, which left its analysts incrementally positive on commercial and AIP momentum. The firm observed, recent government data indicates a steep decline of more than 60%, driven by a Defense Department contract which might have included some catch-up payment in the previous second quarter. 
Additionally, Jeffries raised its price target for Palantir to $28 from $24 and maintained a hold rating on the shares ahead of the second quarter report. The investment firm described Palantir as the most expensive stock in its coverage, with shares trading at 19 times the estimated revenue for 2025. However, Jeffries acknowledged that Palantir has achieved solid execution in consecutive quarters, offering a rare blended artificial intelligence applications and infrastructure asset with near-term revenue momentum. Palantir Technology stands as a testament to resilience and innovation. With a strong leadership under Alex Karp, the company has navigated past doubts and current market challenges to establish itself as a leader in data analysis and artificial intelligence. As it continues to evolve, Palantir remains committed to its core values, driving forward with strategic initiatives like the AIP Logic platform and maintaining a keen focus on future growth despite the inherent uncertainties of the market. In the end, Palantir Technologies is performing exceptionally well, particularly in the United States, where it has developed impactful software infrastructure for both commercial and governmental enterprises. CEO Alex Karp highlighted the company's evolution from skepticism about its profitability to its current success. Despite facing economic challenges in Europe, Palantir continues to thrive with strong earnings and revenue in the first quarter and a significant foothold in artificial intelligence technologies. The company's AIP logic platform is a key driver of its growth. However, Palantir's stock recently experienced a notable decline due to lower-than-expected full-year revenue forecasts. The company is preparing to report its second quarter earnings, with analysts adjusting their price targets amid expectations of continued volatility. For more stock updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.